here's my uh, little graph. I love Google Trends, right? You can go ahead and um, pretty much search any Google term. Okay, so right now, I don't want to really say too much until I show you a couple things. This graph is for the period of January 16th until today. And the interest over time represents the interest relative to the highest point on the chart for the given region in time. So I did the whole US, but it does break it down state by state as well. Um, without me having to do anything as far as like subregions and stuff. I do do find this extremely interesting. So for all of those people that keep telling me I'm kind of like out of there, I'm negative, I'm pessimistic, and this market's not coming down because it's nowhere like the 2006 fiasco that led to the eventual downturn. It's exactly like it. 40% of all um buyers right now in Nevada and Arizona are investors, okay? 40%, that, that happened last time too. Do we have crazy mortgages? No, but I'll tell you one thing, look up a term called bank bail-in. Very interesting because our banking system is currently um, adapting it. And one of the funny things, they it all is happening last a couple of weeks, right? Since the beginning of the new year. I find that interesting. Um, Indiana, one of the markets I watch just because I talk to my mother-in-law all the time about real estate, they actually started initiating the bank bail-in in 2020. So they already saw something they didn't like in 2020, which for those of you that remember, there was a period where the market started looking like it was de-escalating right before COVID broke out. Very interesting there. Anyhow, back to my little chart here. So this graph on January 22nd at 2 a.m. shows that the housing bubble was at 100, oh, at 3 a.m. was at 100%. So it was one of the most popular search terms. And that was for overall in the United States, because as you can see there, I'm pointing to the United States for the past day, seven days, right? And it's web searches. So then we go down to the bottom and we look at California. In California for the last seven days, one of the most popular search terms was housing bubble at 90%. Then we go over to Nevada, 100% in Nevada. So it was the most popular search term or one of the most popular. Oregon, we have a few friends in Oregon, right? And there, and there, okay, it even breaks it down. Well, Boise, Idaho was at 100%. Portland was at uh, 100%. So very interesting, let me, I don't know why I click there, let me click back, okay. So I'll go to Texas first, 81% it came in at. Colorado um, came in at 85, Utah at 100%. So these are all like the most popular search terms pretty much across the Western United States where everything went nuts. And Arizona, itself is at 86%. For those of you naysayers that are telling me I'm wrong, I'm not wrong, because if I'm so wrong, why are people searching up housing bubble with veracity, with veracity? And why are banks starting to prepare docs on bail-ins where no longer the federal government will bail them out, but actual deposit holders will bail them in, okay? Which means they'll actually end up getting a share of stock in lieu of some of their finance, financial stuff that's in the bank, like such as money investments, okay? Some of the stockbrokers are doing the same. So in Florida, because I know you're waiting for this one to tell me I'm wrong, housing bubble, 84%, search term market downturn, 11%. All right, then I go into some states that actually blow me away. Indiana, one of the most popular search terms at 100. Go down to Kentucky, 100% again. Go down to Tennessee, got friends in Tennessee, but they didn't believe me when I talk about this. They're not making fun of me, 100%. Actually, they're, uh, I think, preparing for it. South Carolina, 100%. Anything you see in purple here, New York at 
All right, so let me tell you something. This is a good glimpse into what's about to happen because we're definitely losing, losing confidence, consumer confidence. And when that goes, everything blows, all right? And we haven't even gotten our interest rate hikes yet. What happens when the interest rate hike starts to happen? I mean, this is just based on the data that they're hearing about the economy. Sorry, when you're spending $1,000 a month to heat your place, guess what? You're going to spend less on housing. You might not even have anything to cover housing, all right? When you're spending uh, double or triple on your food, uh, double on your gas prices in some places, I mean gas for car, you're going to spend less or cut back completely on something, maybe not even pay your other bills in order to be able to survive. So we're definitely seeing this and it's only going to get worse because we're not even close to being out of this mess. It'll be, this is going to make the last crash, mark my words, look like a chump change. It'll mirror the 29, uh, 1929 um, stock market and the actual great uh, depression. We're going to go down that path for sure. And for those of you that might be considering buying a house and you're being pressured by a realtor, let me tell you, I'm a broker since I'm 21 years old. You can look up my license. It's been all over America. I watch the market all over America. I will tell you one thing. Ask your real estate agent how they'll make money if everyone still stops buying houses. What other income do they have to supplement their income that they're living on currently? Okay. You won't get an honest answer, but ask them because if everybody stops buying and they stop making 3% on your purchases or two and a half or two in some crazy places, guess what? They need to go find a new profession. All the mortgage originators, all the mortgage brokers, all the processors, all the construction people. The minute this starts turning downward, all those jobs are gone. It happened last time and then it becomes a set of dominoes. I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but honestly, I'm done and, and over with listening to how great this market is because I'm reading financial reports every single day that completely dictate the opposite. And the only reason that people are saying it's great, just like Zillow. Zillow took, is, market's great, can't be better in September, pulled a 500 billion dollar loan. Nobody's asked Zillow what happened with that money. In October, they shuttered all their um housing operations as far as the rehab and they started selling and they're selling everything at a loss but where's the money where's the 500 billion they took in so on the last round of financing where is it nobody asked nobody nobody because our media they're a bunch of crap they're no longer the media that tells you the news they are the media that creates the 